In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the surface split options you have when using the Trim Surface tool. We're going to use the file that we used for our standard and our mutual trim. But in this case, we're going to take a look at the sketch that doesn't completely intersect or extend beyond the border of the surface we're trying to trim. So let's select Trim Surface, make sure the trim type is standard, and select our sketch for our trim tool. Now one thing you'll notice is there are a few options that we can change how this is actually going to get trimmed. When you use the split all surface option, you now can select multiple segments to remove. For instance, if we remove these two outer segments, but leave this center piece attached, we could do that. If you deselect split all, you're only gonna get a small preview of what's happening. What SOLIDWORKS is actually doing is jumping out to the border in the shortest distance possible. So it's taking what profile we have here and it's trying to complete it as if it thought we would have drawn it. So there are two different ways that you can approach this with a sketch that does not completely intersect or extend beyond the surface you're trying to trim. But there are also two other options here, natural and linear. Now in this case, this example doesn't show the difference between natural and linear. So let's go ahead and hop over to another example. In this case, the trim surface does not extend completely beyond the surface that we want to trim. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options. So our trim tool is going to be this inside surface, and then we have options for remove selection or keep selection. Now one thing you'll notice is on the right hand side, we have two different options here. We can remove just the segment above our surface for our trim, or we can actually remove all the way out to the border. Now on the left hand side, it shows a couple different options. Now we have a straight line here, and this straight line shows our linear option. Now this is the shortest line distance from our surface to the outside of our border. The second option here is our natural option, and this actually follows the curvature, in this case a straight line, of the trim surface. And then we have this other option here. It's another linear option, which is straight down to the outside of our border. So if we deselect split all, and we just take a look at natural and linear, you can see the difference between these two. So natural follows the curvature of our trim surface. And on the right hand side, it's actually a horizontal line. So it's the same as our linear option. But if we select linear, we're gonna get the shortest distance option. In this case, it's shorter to go to the bottom edge than it is to the left hand edge. So as you can see, there are several different options depending on the type of geometry you're working with. If you hit split all and you use natural or linear, you're gonna get multiple options here. But if you deselect split all, you're only gonna get the options for natural or linear, depending on what your selection is. 